Well, the tradition is at graduation, when the candidates from aeronautics and astronautics are announced, and the president or whoever the speaker is says, I present the candidates from the School of Aeronautics and Astronautics. Students usually stand up and throw an armada of paper airplanes at each other at the stage all over Elliott Hall of Music somewhere. They've been doing that as long as I can remember. Whichever paper airplane gets closest to Mitch Daniels, he keeps. I don't know what you collect, but I collect these every year at commencement. It was a neat expression of, hey, we've spent a couple years here, many years here, studying and just the fun of being aerospace engineers and exemplifying that excitement about being finished and getting ready to move on with the next step. So I had upperclassmen friends that would discuss it and then when it actually came close to time for commencement my senior year, I get an email from the department that says, oh hey, by the way, this is a really cool tradition that we'd like everybody to take part in. Here's how you would do that. I know some people took hours and did calculations and everything. I did not. I spent about 20 minutes folding my piece of paper and decorated it. I actually think that's part of the fun, is they all get together and they realize, oh, we're about to graduate, who has their airplane? And that's why everybody tears up the programs or whatever they've got available to make an airplane. There's plenty of aeronautical engineering principles for anything that flies, so even in a paper airplane you can do lift and drag calculations and stability calculations, and plenty of people did that. It needs to have a good balance of where the CG is versus where the pitching moments are, and you want to have you know, your CG and your center of pressure balanced correct. And so students who you know, fold the right way to get the weight a little bit more forward, they'll fly straighter and longer. Paper clips is the easy one. I think everybody at least tried to make the weight about right, so you add a couple paper clips to the nose usually and it flies a little better. So there's a little bit of aerospace engineering and there's probably a little bit of luck and a whole lot of fun, I think is the best way to put it. So I kept my paper airplane because it was a really easy keepsake for, from commencement. I still have my cap and tassel and everything and that's and that's nice but I kept my airplane because it was a pretty unique thing and it was it was easy to take with you. If I'd go back and do it again I would probably try to make it like way over the top. <laughs> so taking part in something that's gone back decades even if it's a mostly inconsequential sort of tradition it's still really neat because you could build a paper airplane just the same 50 years ago as you could today so the fact that it's been ongoing and it's just you know everything changes but everything stays the same that's a pretty nice example of that. So we're obviously graduating with way different skills and, and everything than you know, somebody in the mid 20th century would, but you can still throw a paper airplane with the best of them. But I think one of the things about the paper airplane tradition is it's kind of interesting that nobody knows how it started. So it probably means that students started it, right? And a lot of the great traditions at Purdue, really the students kind of started and it snowballs from there. Near as I know, no other engineering schools have a tradition like this, so it's very uniquely aeronautics and astronautics, you know. So seeing a salvo of paper airplanes fly towards the stage is very much us. I think graduation will just generally be a really happy day, so I think it's just going to kind of be a nice, you know, culmination of all of that work and a, a fun experience with my friends.